okay in uh, bit angle problem you see this uh, the first two positions will be remaining same so that's why i have drawn the first two positions here you can see equilateral triangle lamina of uh, dimension 25 lies on one of its sides on hp so we have constructed the first position first position uh, top and front view next the lamina makes 45 degree with hp so 45 degree uh, degree inclination also we have shown here now you see the only change with respect to normal type problem and this bit angle is so it is changed only with respect to the third position so first two positions will be remaining same that's why i have drawn initially these two positions now we have to construct the third position so that is one of its median is inclined to inclined at 40 degree to vp that is so you can see here the median it is given for an equilateral triangle so it is an so beta angle problem so what is the procedure here so please you follow it first i'll marking a reference point and then keeping at this uh, reference point i'll be marking at 40 degree because angle of inclination to vp it is 40 degree so i'll be drawing an angle line here okay so this is having angle of inclination 40 so after this uh, drawing angle of inclination what we have to do is we have to draw the medians here okay median lens so median lens it is starting from this point to here horizontal line so this is bd1 okay now similarly we have second median length that is we have second median length from here to here okay that's what the second median length so this is bd so we have two median lengths initially what we do we mark a point of b here first we are going to measure this first median length this is second median length okay there are two medians one is bd1 and second one is bt first we have to use this bd1 okay using the compass we are going to measure this length okay we are going to measure this length no 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 cut the arc okay so this is bt1 okay after cutting the arc what you have to do is using the scale we have to draw locus of line locus line we have to draw here okay we have to draw a locus so we call it as locus of d so we have to draw a locus line so after that what we have to do so we have to measure this length that is from b to d so measuring from b to d you can cut the arc so somewhere here you can get the arc okay so after cutting the arc so you have to join this point okay you have to join this touch point and then you can extend this okay you can extend this so the angle you can get so that is nothing but bit angle okay this is bd okay bd now we are going to measure how much the angle we have to get here So here, okay, we join. No, we have to join it here. Okay, some mistake happened here. So you can see here one minute. So we have to measure exactly the length. Okay, so from B D. look at that so exactly it has started here okay so joining of these two points is very important okay then you can extend this line okay extend this line so this is where it is very important now you find out how much angle it is so this is bt So angle here I am getting around 70 degree okay so you need to get uh, 71 degree but if you are getting one or two degree variation that will be okay so we get the BD length now we have to transfer this diagram over here correct so we have to transfer the diagram over here so what I will do here initially so with respect to this line BD line I am going to merge 
this 90 degree line okay merge this uh, 90 degree line okay merge this 90 degree line and draw a straight line here okay straight horizontal line okay so after this by cutting the arcs okay we have to transfer this diagram so this diagram we have to copy okay that is uh, pd okay bd sorry bc and bd this yeah, this will uh, will this will be having the same length okay so here at this point we get it this is bc and this is ba okay so now what we do so we have to join this okay so this is our uh, okay so understood now we have to project it upward uh, from b from c from this uh, a point okay so where they are merging we have to see it a it is uh, merging here it is a dash c it is merging here it is c dash and similarly b so it is merging here b dash so now we have to connect this okay so this is what the problem so you understood the procedure right so after constructing these two positions we have to draw the median that is bd1 first median and bd so this is the first median this is the second median so we draw 45 40 degree angle line after that we mark a point b so first we will measure bd1 this median length and we cut the arc after we cut getting the arc on the on this 40 degree angle line we will be drawing a locus so we mention it is locus of d okay we mention it is locus of d so after that what we do we measure again from b to d we measuring from b to d we will be cutting the arc on this locus line so there is a locus line here right so on this locus line we are cutting the arc after cutting the arc we are going to join bd okay after cutting the arc we join bd and then we are going to extend this bd line using a scale uh, till it is touches the x y line okay after that we are going to find out angle this is what your beta angle okay B beta angle 70 degree around 71 degree you have to get if it is one or two degree variation there is no problem okay so after that same procedure by extending from c from b from ba we'll get the final diagram understood right first two positions remain same as it is with the normal problem but in the third position we see the changes okay first we have to use the first median length second median length after that we have to find out the beta angle then transfer this diagram using arc method then finish the final position